Hello my friends and welcome back to our blind let's play of your turn to die death game by majority My name is Fatless Bear. This is your story based gaming channel in the last episode. We met Gombi uh, our little striped friend who Doesn't seem to want to help us But at the same time doesn't seem to want to get in the way of us Don't know if that's good or bad just yet uh, But we did make an enemy so that's good. He, he was very confused about a Russian roulette. We're also trying to solve this mirror puzzle. And I'm having a couple problems with this mirror puzzle because we've gotten this cracked, this cracked, this cracked. Everything except the mirror. And I'm not really sure how we do that. Because it seems to be foggy. But whenever I try to use like the spray or the bottle, nothing seems to work. So I think what we need to do is we need to go around and check other rooms to see if we may have missed something. I'm I feel like we need to solve that puzzle before we can continue on with the game But I'm not really sure how Okay, so there's nothing in the SP room nothing in the row room Let's go to the other SP room Fill the bottle it's already filled you see we already have the bottle filled Droplets of water stick to it So I was thinking maybe we take the mirrors and we replace the, uh, the mirrors in the other room. But as you can see, when we click on the mirrors, nothing happens. And there doesn't seem to be anything we do with the penguins or the nut penguins. Hmm. We can't proceed past these iron bars. So let's go to the first floor. And we'll go to the bar first. Clicking on everything we can. So I'm kind of resting in the corner. And yeah, we'll just keep checking our room from a distance. I'll call it drinks, but none of them are notable. The cabinet's empty. So it doesn't seem to be anything in the bar. So let's see. Smoking area. Nothing in the back. Nothing there. Head to the game room. By the way, how is everyone doing today? I hope you're all having a wonderfully fantastic day. Nothing left in locker. It's a clock. Digital clock stopping at a certain time. We got the candle. The liquid. Teddy bear. We can't use any item in this room. So there's nothing in here. We got the Meister painting, a ladder. Nothing in here either. I am running out of options, you guys. I don't know what I'm actually missing. Like, I understand what I'm supposed to do. I just don't understand how we're supposed to do it. Hmm. Cafeteria. Last place we can go. Can we take this glass? No, we can't. Because that would have been my other idea. Uh, back cafeteria. We'll go to the hidden room first. Nothing here. Let's head into the pink room. Nothing here either. Okay, I'm out of, I am completely out of ideas now because we have been everywhere and I have tried everything. So I don't know what I am missing. Uh, second floor landing. Like we need to get through these doors. But I've clicked on everything that I can think of 
And I've tried everything I can think of. We can't move these anymore. There we go. Oh, I was thinking of it the wrong way. I was thinking instead of instead of making this one perfect, we had to make this one blurry. I understand. Ha ha. Five grain droplets take the mirror. Man, I think I was about to give up too. They won't come off. The mirror droplets stuck to it, so it only shows a blurry reflection. Stand in front. I stood in front of the mirror. Look at that! Look at that! It's so beautiful, we did it! Now everything in the room is symmetrical. Something outside the room moved, making a loud sound. Way to go, Sarah. Let's take a look outside. I almost gave up. I was I was almost at the point where I was saying, maybe we should go online to try to figure this out, but just before I did, I wanted to double check everything, and I'm glad. Ooh, all right. Passage is open. Let's go. There's something on the floor. Huh? Hmm? A key. Hey, it's got a tag. Meow. The key to the kitchen, eh? Come to think of it, the kitchen is the only place on the first floor we haven't been. Since the key's here, now we shouldn't have been able to get in without breaking the window. But we should check it just in case. Yep, best to be simple and methodical in your investigation, Sarah. Turn the kitchen key. Cool. There's a locked black door on the left. The doorknob has a dial to enter a number on it. Uh, yeah, that's that's not happening. Do we have any... Hold on. Let me get out my yay old notebook here. Um, we have percentages from the notepad. And we have a time from a clock. But that's the only thing I have written on my... On my notepad for... Unless it's nine. Nope, that's not it. Okay. There's a large red door in the center. The number nine is displayed above the door. What could this number mean? Okay. It's a locked door on the right side. It has a dial number. That's not it. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Let's head to the kitchen. Um, hmm. Where is... Is it the cafeteria? Is it this door here? Yeah, the door of the kitchen is shut fast. I'll use this key. Can now enter the kitchen. Fantastic, let's go. How did you get in here? Wait a second, how, how did she get here? The door was locked. There's some storage space for cookware, but I don't see anything resembling cookware. Huh, what's this box? Please use as you wish. Um, hold on. Let me write these down. It looks like the three numbers we need. So 682310? Possibly, but let me write them down in the way they're written. So 361802. Yeah, it looks like the left door is 682 and the right door is 310. Or... Oh, oh, I didn't realize that. Uh, no, I'm an idiot. Uh, look at, I was looking at the direction that they were in, but not the, the font color that they were in. So it should be 380 and 612. Thank you, game, for pointing that out to me. I'm pretty sure I would have figured that out eventually, but hmm. Taint a long, narrow box. The blue refrigerator is empty. Okay. Well, air conditioned. That's now. All the dots. Please stay away. Hey there. Settle down now. You especially, please. Okie dokie. He's just so nonchalant. He's so chill. What did you come here for? Please leave, Sarah. Uh, I'm scared. Meow. 
Now is really riled up. Um, don't approach. Ask her reasons. We're on your side. We don't. We won't do anything. Mother Dot. What in the world happened? As if you don't know that. I want. I want to hand over the professor. Now it doesn't want him to be taken away. Calm her down, lock the door, do a pincer attack, really. Let, 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 let's try to calm her down first. Please calm down. We don't intend to take him. <laughs> then please just leave. It's so good. This can't be resolved by a discussion. Uh, well, spoilers lock the door. We're kind of, well, actually, if we try to do a pincer attack and miss, she can run out, so let's lock the door. I'll lock the kitchen door from the inside. <laughs> well, what are you doing? Now no one else can enter. Will you talk to us? Oh, that was smart. That was really smart. All the dots. You really didn't come here and didn't need to take the professor? Right. Please believe us. All the dots. Since it's you, sir, I'll believe you. Well, can we come a little closer? You put your back to the door and stay quiet, please. Roger that. Sir. Why did you come here? I need to put her at ease somehow. Um, I, I just came to search the kitchen, honestly. I just came to look for clues in the kitchen. I mean, honesty is the best policy. Is that it? I am sorry for doubting you. Please, search all you like. All the dots. I've been hiding here the whole time when the lights turned off. So that the kidnappers find me, they'll take him. How did, how did you get in here? Does this room have a light switch? Weren't you scared? Did no one else come? How about scared? Uh, we'll try to make her our friend. Empathy. It must have been scary in the dark. Other dots. One more body. Why don't stop shaking? Now it's starting to calm down bit by bit. Other dots. At this point, I think I can talk to her properly. Now, um. It's hard to say things like this, but... All the dots! I understand. I understand that what I'm doing is wrong. I caused all of you trouble. I shouldn't be acting like this forever, should I? What should I do? I just have to persuade her. You should let go of the box. Tell about Jin. Now, did you know that stairs going to the second floor appeared? Huh? You don't mean an exit? No, the rooms are just full of tricks. And the process is searching for you? Jin got trapped in a cage. Jin! Uh, yeah. Meow. He was very frightened by it. All the dots! That's my fault, isn't it? I know how you feel now. But you can't be exposing the people who are alive to danger, too. The people who are alive? That warning! Professor Mishima. Professor Mishima is dead now. All the dots! No! No! No, all the dots! Ah! No! All the summer dots. That's right. Of course. I kept questioning him in the dark. But the professor didn't say a word. No matter how busy he was, the professor I knew always answered the questions with a smile. All the dots. All the dots. I was in the middle of painting it. A portrait of the professor that I meant to give him as a gift. But I can't give it to him anymore, can I? Oh, this poor girl. I mean, she's been through so much and yet she's trying to hang on. Oh, the dots. Then will you quit painting? You should finish it. Honor him, honor him with it. And what about it? Huh? He must have taught you many things about art, about studying, about many more important things. Who knows Professor Mishima best out of anyone? Oh, the dots. No. I'm sorry. <clears throat> this is Sarah, not, uh, yeah. Now, you should make it back alive. And you should finish the painting yourself. So what happened is, uh, these names are so close together that I read now as the one speaking. 
All the dots. I... I want to paint it. Aw, oh, good for you. Until I finish that portrait, I can't die. Right. It's sad. But this... This box. I'll let go of it now. The door is open. You should go see Reiko. Because she was the most worried. Yes. Sorry about what I said, Mr. Policeman. Well, we better give it our all, too. Right. Can I check the box to make sure it's an actual human head? I mean, I know it sounds horrible and disgusting, but... You know what I said the other day about my theory. A box with a suspicious look. Er, well, Sarah. If you don't want to peek inside, you can look away. Inside must be the professor. Yeah, I definitely want to look inside. No, searching every nook and cranny is the only thing I can do. You're really something, kid. I touched the box, and the lid opened easily. Oh, the dots. Huh? There was nothing in the box? What? What's going on here? No buts about it. It's totally empty. Was now dearly protecting a box that had nothing in it? Where did the professor in here go? Um... Uh... What? Kidnappers took it, never went all, now we're still hiding it. Well, let's keep digging in my heels into my original uh, theory. Digging in my heels. Is that the right expression? I think that's it. Don't tell me. Is now actually still hiding it on her? Something that big. There's no way, right? But maybe she hid it like in the fridge or something. I guess so. All the dots. Getting hard to tell what's the truth. Yeah, that, that's for sure. Even as far as Mishima's death. Ha. Huh. All the dots. Nah. I just felt like saying that. Miley, wasn't it? If Mishima could, could revive like her, just sticking his head on, I'm sure now would be glad. Like a doll, huh? You think Miley's really a doll? Was Mishima also a doll? Yeah, that's what I've been... Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm gonna continue this. Ha ha ha. Surely even you can tell between a living creature and an object enough to know he was human like you, Sarah. I don't know! I mean, I don't know! I, I would hope I could. But this game is messing with my fragile little mind. Well, no point in worrying about it. Let's keep trucking along and just pursue the truth. Can we check? Can we? Oh, it, the fridge is empty. Hmm. Irritate to have a mystery lingering. Ha ha. Yes, it is. It's very irritating. I don't like it. I like to know answers. Dang it. Ah, all right. Once again, now let's go do a full run through of everywhere. Because what I need to do is I need to find, um, need to make sure now is okay. It's possible that we may not find her at all. But it is something that I just want to loop through to try to see if we can see. So we'll go to the bar next. Bar is the easiest place to go. Okay, so same dialogue. You know what I really want in this game? I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I want a button that says back to main hall. Like from anywhere. So that way we can just instantly port back without having to go room to room. Would be nice. Uh, let's see. What's next? Um, the smoking area. Game room. Red room. Game room. Blue room. Okay. So it looks like we can't continue that dialogue with now at this time. So let's just head up to the second floor. This is why I want a button that just says to Central Hall. Uh, second floor landing. Uh, second floor back hallway. 
Oh, here they are. Sarah. Reiko. Hard to find now. You did good. Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry for warning you. Don't sweat it. Especially because you're safe. But now, we're your buds, right? Don't take off anymore, okay? But, but... You don't want to be? If my makeup's scary, I, I can take it off. Oh, th that's on it. I'm very happy. All right. Aww. I'll do my best to make up for troubling you. You're fine now. Thanks, Sarah. Wait. Wait a second. This is two now. Before it said nine. Now it says two. Why did that number change? What could this number mean? What does that mean? Okay, left side is... Well, it's either 380 or 612, right? Supposedly. Alright, that one works. So, 380 is left side. The black door opened. And then the white door should be 6... 1, 2. Okay, so that's right. Should also probably write the colors. So this is black. And this one's white. Uh, left is always right. We'll go left first. Okay, a spotlight on a board with a shredding machine. The light is pointing at the blackboard. A large blackboard with nothing written. An electric paper shredder. It's a machine for shredding documents and such. There are lots of shredded paper inside. Uh, how about it, Sarah? You see anything of interest? This? Huh? Just garbage. Why just a waste of time to check it out, huh? Hmm. Recreating the documents from all this paper would be time consuming. Oh, the dots. I'll try searching it, meow. Jin. Oh, the dots. Haha. -ha. Jin seems all fired up. I'll watch him till he's done. Aww. I like Reiko when she smiles. She's really pretty. I mean, look at that. It's such great... Maybe Jin's starting to begin his spirits, too. I mean, she's so cool looking. Okay. We'll leave that to Jin. Let's go to White Room. There's a handcuff at the end of the chain. I wonder what this is. Plus, the air in this room feels heavy. Well, this place is no good. How do you mean that? Hmm. I can sense a bad feeling somewhere, somehow. So please tell me. Oh, the dots. I'm betting someone died here. Ugh. All oh, the dots. I can faintly smell blood. Ah, uh, and since there's dust, it was wiped a little while ago. I'd put the time around, yeah. Maybe the first trial. Once I became cognizant of it, I understood. The unremovable raw stench of blood. The air that repulsed my instincts. It's disgusting. I want to throw up. Whoa! What was that? All the dots, for sure. Don't imagine it. Feeling your limits, Sarah. Kaiji. I'll check every inch of this room. You get out, Sarah. But... I'm saying trust in your friendly policeman. With a gentle push on the back, I proceed to exit out of the room. To think of an empty room could make me tremble. It's been planted in me. The fear of death. Whoa. That is freaky. Alright, where do we go next? We go to the left side. Jin is investigating. Okay. Nothing else here. They still have the same line dialogue. The two is still displayed above the door. I can't go to the white room, so let's go back to the landing. Hello, so. Hey, Miss Sarah. So, and... All the dots. 
Aren't you tired? It's not good to work too hard. You should take some time to rest. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and rest because I don't know what else we'll do, so we'll just follow the plot line. I'm a little tired too. If you start getting wary, everyone will be uneasy. It's bad for your looks too. Ha ha ha. But you never know when someone might attack. So it's hard to stay calm and rest, huh? All the dots. Miss Sarah, I don't think you should go to the first floor on your own. But... All the dots. Er, hey. Joe's your best friend, right? Eh? Yeah, Joe's my best friend. Yes, he can be a bit stupid in ways, but he's a really good guy. Uh-huh. Miss Sarah, you trust Joe, then. All the dots. So what about Joe? Miss Sarah. So came very close to me and spoke in a whisper. Do you remember that vote? Uh... I had nearly forgotten. No, I had been trying to forget it. The second trial, the vote in which Professor Mishima died. Excluding my own vote, Mishima got three votes. So, and now got zero votes. And everyone else got one vote each. But of course, we thought that choice held no meaning. You see... I voted for Joe. You see, so if Joe got only one vote, then Joe didn't vote for himself. So that goes back to what I was saying before, where it's not that... It's not that everyone voted for us, for themselves. People voted for different people. We're probably the only idiot who voted for ourselves. All the dots. Do you know what that means? All the dots. Sorry, that must have bewildered you. It's, I mean, it's, you didn't trust him. That's all it means. You have no reason to really trust him. You have really no reason to trust anyone. So, for you to vote against my best friend and him possibly die, how can I hate you for that? A, it didn't happen. Someone else died. But B, there's no way you could have known. So, it's just... Yeah, I'm... It's okay. Uh, I, I understand. We'll be going now. Catch you later. All the dots. Joe didn't vote for himself? Oh! So that means who did Joe vote for? Well, the good news is we had one vote. And we voted for ourselves. So that means no one actually targeted us. So if Joe voted for someone else, I mean, that should be perfectly understandable too. But what if Joe voted for Mishima, which led to Mishima's death, and wouldn't Joe feel horrible about that decision he made? Which could then make him emotionally unstable? Is that what So's trying to get at? Uh, Central Hall. Where are we going? Let's go to the bar. There's Joe. Joe was sitting down wearily. He's staring at something in his hand. Uh, a Starlum. We're best friends. <laughs> ah! That's great. I love that. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, what the heck, Sarah? Ah, uh, sorry. Don't do that and then take it back. At least laugh. What are you looking at? Uh, the dots. Uh, this was inside my pocket. Or well, this was in my inside pocket. That's... It was a photo of me, Joe, and Vyoko. We are at a cafe having a fun chat together. Who's Vyoko? All the dots. I'm so photogenic, what an artist do you miss Ryoko? All the dots. Yeah. All the concerned dots. Man, I miss her. All the dots. 
Sure enough, it's unthinkable for me to suspect Joe. So, he must just be seeing shadows where there aren't any. That's a great line. Seeing shadows where there aren't any. I like that. Beautiful writing. All the dots. Suddenly, I thought back. Joe got involved in this because he came to my house. If he'd gone straight home, wouldn't he be living life as a normal right now? How late a realization is that? I was so focused on myself. I didn't consider Joe's perspective for a second. I had my first proper date with Ryoko that day. Hehe. <laughs> I was so nervous, I couldn't talk at all. Somehow, we ended up talking about you, Sarah. Eh? Do you remember that time you tried to sit on a traffic cone and fell on your butt? <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. What? You promised you wouldn't tell anyone. <laughs> it sure got the conversation lively. So then I sort of asked her why she decided to go out with me. Huh? What do you mean, why? I mean, you didn't know me that much, yeah? Aha, uh -huh, really? Well, no friend of Sarah's could be a bad person, you know. Ha ha ha, funny, right? Cause I was just thinking the same thing. Joe. Yoko and me made an argument. If anyone makes Sarah cry, we'll make them cry. So like, stop looking like you're on the verge of tears. I mean, Joe, you're... If I make you cry, Sarah, that means Ryoko's gotta sock me, right? All the dots. <laughs> You're right, Joe. I'd better have you protect me. Yeah. Whenever I see a traffic cone, I'll exterminate it. <laughs> Erase that from your memory. I mean it. Oh, that's great. Joe is sitting down. I'll rest a little, then get back to searching. Okay. Let's move out. Where are we heading? Central Hall? Oh, hello, Mr. Gombi. Ahem. Sarah Kidone. There was noise on the second floor. What happened? Huh? Uh, I'll go look. Um, yeah. I'll go look. Gombi, you. Huh. I will remain here. I'll leave him alone then. Second floor? Uh, Central? No. Back of second floor. There we go. Was that a countdown timer? The red door is open and shines bright light. light. The counter above the door is zero. Don't tell me the people on second floor went in here. No, we're not taking a look inside yet. James is investigating. Okay. So it looks like we have to go into this back room now. All right. Well, I think we'll do that on the next episode. My name is Flutterspo. This is your Sorvius Gaming Channel. Thank you for joining us on this blind let's play of Your Turn to Die, Chapter 1, Part 2. Um, I love you guys a lot. Again, thanks for everything. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.